Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesi suprememastertv.com barra schedule. Hamare karkam pesh kye jate kai bhaasha me krupya deke suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. 我们的节目提供多种语言，请看supremastertv.com/schedule。Ranjangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com/schedule.Baramajunamatwafirabiladidimanalogatyurjaziyaratsuprememastertv.com/forward/schedule.Nasha programi pertlagait monoga yazikop. Pajalusta pasmatvidi suprememastertv.com/kasaychertetschedule. Нашите предавания предлагат много езици. Моля вижте suprememastertv.com на колонна черта Schedule. I can also lift them up maybe one or two levels according to you know allowance and us then I can teach them continue from there using my other bodies. I don't just have this body. I'm, I have many bodies everywhere different levels. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Aulaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Russian, Spanish, Telugu, and Thai. Рад вас видеть, прекрасные зрители. Меня зовут Лиза, русские мыслители. Благодарят вас за такой любящий пример. Россия давно очаровывает мир своим богатым наследием и обширной географией. Собор Василия Блаженного, Красная площадь и Кремль – это только некоторые из архитектурных чудес России. Помимо того, что это самый большой город в России, Москва также важный культурный научно-образовательный центр страны. Россия – родина многих всемирно известных литературных и музыкальных гениев, таких как вегетарианец, веган, писатель и дворянин, Лев Толстой, писатель Федор Достоевский, поэт и писатель Александр Пушкин, драматург Антон Чехов и любимых композиторов таких как Петр Чайковский, Михаил Глинко и Игорь Стравинский. Это честь представить необыкновенную Россию вам, заботливые зрители. Желаем вам небесной любви из Священного Царства. Более трех десятилетий высочайший мастер Чинхай освещает наш мир своим божественным учением. Являясь полностью просветленным мастером, она передает метод медитации Гуань Инь, желающим немедленно открыть природу Бога внутри себя 
и достичь за одно время жизни вечного освобождения из цикла трансмиграции. Метод Гуанин практиковали все просветленные мастера, такие как Будда, Конфуций, Гуру Нанак, Иисус Христос, Лао Цзэ, Господь Кришна, Господь Махавира, Пророк Мухаммед, мир да пребудет с ним и многие другие. Мастер подчеркивает, что если мы всегда будем помнить Бога, бескорыстно служить другим и следовать законам Вселенной, мы достигнем своего самого высшего потенциала в качестве людей и по-настоящему поймем свое назначение на Земле. Высочайший мастер Чинхай является необычайным живым примером сострадания регулярно оказывая материальную и финансовую помощь, а также посылая любовь беженцам, бездомным, жертвам стихийных бедствий и другим нуждающимся в помощи. Высочайший мастер Чингхай в качестве смиренного орудия, его сострадания и любви к его драгоценным детям глубоко благодарна Богу за всю финансовую помощь, утешение и поддержку жертвам, и нуждающимся и помощь всем хорошим делам на протяжении всех этих лет. Высочайший мастер Чинхай получила поддержку и любовь от различных организаций, медий, правительств и отдельных лиц, а также многочисленные награды от них, такие как премию мира ГУЗИ 2006 года считающуюся Нобелевской премией Мира Востока, премию за мировое духовное лидерство 1994 года, премию Махавира 2008 года. В дни 22 февраля и 25 октября были объявлены Днем Высочайшего Мастера Чингхая, получивший почетное гражданство США. На протяжении многих лет она была отмечена многими другими премиями и почетными грамотами за свои выдающиеся благотворительные и гуманитарные деяния. за невозможность показать многие другие 
премии и почести вследствие нехватки места и времени. Будучи истинным голосом наших красивых друзей-животных, высочайший мастер Чингхай пропагандирует мирную и полную любви растительную диету, предвидя безмятежный и блистательный всевеганский мир, где животные и люди живут в блаженной гармонии. Ее инициативы по распространению веганского трена включает в себя распространение листовок «Жизненная альтернатива» и международные веганские рестораны «Loving Heart», фирмы веганской еды и продуктов из веганского меха «Supreme Master Television», а также регулярное общение с влиятельными политиками и медийными лидерами и участие в транслируемых по телевидению конференциях по изменению климата и прочее. Знаем мы об этом или нет, ее усилия оказали огромное влияние на глобальную осведомленность о дружественном по отношению к животным образе жизни и о том, как он может принести прочный мир между странами и спасти нашу планету от изменения климата и природных бедствий. На протяжении многих лет высочайший мастер Чингхай объехала весь мир от Америки до Африки, от Европы до Океани, провела сотни бесед с сообщественностью и своими учениками на целый ряд духовных тем. Сегодня мы благословены представить вам одну из этих мудрых лекций под названием «Сутра Патхисатвы, Хранителя Земли. Благо для живущих и мертвецов. Часть 2 из 5. На между мастером и учениками. Лекция на английском языке 11 августа 2015 года. Wow, you can live the evil destiny forever if relatives pray for them, you know, and give offering to the Buddha image and all that, and continue to do good deed on their behalf, you know? What is good deed? Okay, if that person has a lot of possession, then sell all those possessions, give it to the poor, for example, on his behalf, because in, the, in this lifetime he saved, he didn't do it. Now he can't take it with him. You sell some of it or all of it and give it to charity, offer it to monks and priests and church and temple, whatever the way you think, on his or her behalf. If you do it good enough, then this person can avoid hell forever even and avoid a bad incarnation forever. Wow, that's I like for the world forever, I like. I don't like the word forever when they talk about hell, but I like this, you know, liberated forever. Wonderful. There are so many ways to practice, understand? Yes. 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 He will not be born, you know, he will live evil paths forever, destiny forever, meaning he will not be born as low class or animals or born in hell, or, you know, born in hungry ghosts, etc. Mm. And he will be born as humans or gods even, you know, Demigods, divas, yeah, and receive supremely wonderful bliss. Accordingly, of course, nah? the surviving relatives will also receive limitless benefits themselves. Not only you do that, you benefit the dead, but you benefit yourself. How wonderful can that be? So you just have to know how. Huh? You can't just sit here and say, oh, it's not fair, not fair, not fair. There are ways to get out of this unfairness. Huh? It's just that nobody tell you. I don't mean you. I told you many times. I don't know how many years you need in order to hear all I told you. But I mean everyone else, like outside people, who has no one to teach them. Mm -hmm. Therefore, 
before the Buddhas were honored ones, as well as before the gods, dragons, and the rest of the eightfold division, humans and non-humans. I now exhort beings of Jambut Vipa to be careful to avoid harming, killing, and doing other unwholesome deeds, to refrain from worshiping ghosts and spirits or making sacrifices to them, and to never call on mountain spirits on the day of death. Why is that? Killing, harming, and making sacrifices are not the least bit helpful to the deceased. You know, you know, in many cultures still nowadays, some people die, and they kill pig, chicken, lambs, or you know, cows, anything to, you know, to 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 make a party in the name of the deceased. This is this is the worst thing you could do for the soul who just departed. Yeah, as mentioned before, if he's supposed to go to hell, he go faster. If he's supposed to go to heaven, he'll be delayed or decrease in his level of heaven that he will go to. Understand? Less. Yeah. That's bad. Why is that? Okay. Um, all this killing, harming of sacrifice are uh, the least helpful for the disease. Such acts only bind up the conditions of offenses so that they grow even more deep and heavy. You know, the sin multiply in intensity. The deceased might have been due to increase his potential for sagehood or gain birth among humans or gods in his next life or in the future. But when his family commits offenses in his name, such as above mentioned, his good rebirth will be delayed. How much more would that be the case for people on the verge of death who during their lives had planted very little good roots? Each offender has to undergo the bad destinies according to his own karma. How could anyone bear to have relatives at more to that come. That would be like having a neighbor add a few more things to a load over a hundred pounds being carried by someone who had already traveled a long distance and who had not eaten for three days. By adding that extra weight, that person's burden would become even more unbearable. Obviously, no? Thanks to all the translators, huh? you are really focused. Very good. You don't have to look at me, just concentrate, okay? But when you look at me, you see I'm so beautiful, you forget. <laughs> Beautifully old, <laughs> you forget. Oh, come, Master, so old, so quick. All right. Uh, World Honored One. I see that beings of Chambut Vipa will themselves receive the benefit of any good deeds they are able to do within the Buddha's teaching. That holds true even when the deeds are as small as a strand of hair. Wow! Anybody who listens to Buddha's teaching and do it accordingly with faith and reverence, even just a good deed as a strand of hair. How can any deed be that small? But just meaning that even then, you reap the benefit. <sighs> Wonderful to know that there are ways out huh? of this unfair world. Even if the good deeds are as small as a strand of hair, a drop of water, a grain of sand, or a mote of dust. Yeah, but in the Bible, Jesus says the same. Eh? If you have faith, as, even as small as a grain, as a mustard seed, truly you will reap reward. Yeah, truly, the God, God in heaven, we know, we know. Yeah, so I told you, many religions they all boil down to the same thing. Just the Buddha lived longer in a peaceful India. Therefore, he had the chance to talk long, many things. And lucky 
Anand was there. You see, maybe other master, Jain master, uh, Sikh master, and and Hindu master, or Muslim master, or other, you know, maybe forgotten name master. They talk a lot also. They talk a lot, but had no Anand. So nobody recorded. You know, maybe some little bit here, a little bit there, and then after all his disciples or followers die, that teaching died with them. Are we also online? Yes. Oh, did you find out how many online? How many? About a thousand, even more. Oh, really? A lot, yeah, it's, it's hard to say because it's, it's like data, but a lot, a lot. What I mean is kind of limitless on here? Well, kind of, it will increase. A lot, a lot. No, no, what I mean is our capacity. Yes, as as, the, as many as they want. It will, okay. it will increase accordingly. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> we have to be grateful that we have such a good place. Fast internet. That's why I told you find good hotel, you know. Good hotel. After that had been said, an elder named Great Eloquence arose in the assembly. I'm checking. Your old master. You know the story of the king with new clothes? No? <laughs> you know it. <laughs> Don't think you can cheat me. I have mirror. <laughs> some mirror cheat, some mirror don't. Doesn't matter, it's okay. I'm still the same. No, I'm better. <laughs> you're better when you're older. Some people get better, you know? More wisdom, yeah. More understanding, yeah? More humility. Why is this? Master, hmm? they tell me we have right now 1,700. Centers. Viewers. Viewers. Watching. People watching the live stream, 1,000. Only 1,000? 1,700 people. Why? 1,700 people. Yeah, I know. What do you want to say? No, I mean, I don't think it's just people. No, it's a connection. 1,700 stations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Each station could be a lot. Yes, correct. Yeah. I say, why only 1,700? I have more disciples than that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes don't work, huh? What? One at work is two o'clock. Yeah, sometimes they're working or different time, you know. Or, or they don't have connection. They take turn, you know, sometimes. Stations, yeah? Connection, yeah. Like Taipei, for example, if they connect, it's just one. But thousands of them is watching together, you know. If they have time, if they're not working, or they take turn to work and they record it, or they come and, and watch again later on. If they're busy at work, yeah. This is the thing. The thing is like that. Like that. <laughs> you know, capish. <laughs> when we have the Supreme Master Television, at least two billion people watching. At least. Yeah. It's only one third of the world, you know, or more or less. Yeah. I did not say it's only for initiates. Sometimes outside people are better than initiates. No, truly. Many times, even though they don't know anything, I didn't teach them, but they're good already by themselves. They don't harm anybody. And many times they have better <laughs> experience than you. You know that, yeah? Sometimes they are the ones who come to see you. Did you see your master now? <laughs> she is in your living room? No, where, where? <laughs> yeah? Oh, God. You don't see? Okay, Master tell you do this, do that. <laughs> you know? So, to help you in this time. This. Sometimes the family member also non initiate. You see Master all the time, transform body all the time. And the initiates are deaf, blind, dumb. Master came today or not? Yeah, she's right here. I don't see anything. What did Master say? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's okay. 
It's okay. Just try your best. Hmm? It's a difficult word. I know all that. I'm not blaming you or anything. I'm just trying all my patience to remind you again, again, and again, hoping that some of my words will stay in your subconscious and help you in the time of trouble or at the time you die. Huh? An elder named Great Eloquence arose in the assembly. He had long since been certified to non-production and was only appearing in the body of an elder to teach and transform those in the ten directions. Non-production, meaning no, no more coming, no, also no more dying. He was already very highly a uh, spiritual saint. He appeared in that form of the elder, in that lower level of heaven, in order to ask this and that, to tell this and that, so that they have a chance to tell. You see? The earth, earth star bodhisattva have a chance to explain things, so the benefit others, heaven and world and hell. Yeah. You should know, the, that's why I told you, you see, he appeared in this elder. That means he's higher. That means his, this heaven is lower. Okay, now it's a proof that I told you before, that the heaven is just border between second and third world. Why is that, you ask me? You were thinking the Buddha's mother, uh, you know, the mother of the Buddha should be born immediately in a higher heaven. No, she didn't have enough chance. She gave birth to him, she had no time to practice. Therefore, the Buddha had to go to this heaven. Not very high heaven, but it's not like astral heaven, to, have, to, to teach her. You see this? Uh -huh. So this is a proof now, yeah? Because if it's a high heaven, then this non-production sage had not to appear in the elder form, you know? He would just keep his form <laughs> in a higher world. Do you mean? Oh, okay. Master, can I ask you one question, quick? Huh? Can I ask you something? Yes. Do someone have to have um, some spiritual attainment to, to give birth to a master? To give birth to a master? No, 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 no. It's just affinity. Affinity with that and this family. At that time, the Buddha had to be born and had to search all over to see which one had affinity with him in the past life or whatever, you know what I mean? My parents didn't attain anything. I borrowed the body of their dead daughter to, to appear here, understand? Yeah. But they, they attained the fourth level, and then, of course, from then they will go higher later. Huh? They are on the fifth already right now because I dedicate some merit to them, even though they are not my real, real birth parents. But they raised me, you know, give me all the best they can since my childhood. So I'm in debt to them. So I give them not only physical comfort and house and stuff, but also spiritual merit. Yeah. But as the time of they are passing, they were only fourth level. And then I have to share so my merit, then they went to fifth level, but not high fifth, just lower fifth. Yeah, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> Not too much bribery, no? <laughs> I have, I have, a, I have an excuse to give. You see, I give also more spiritual point to my dogs, deceased dog, birds, and extra. Apart from that, they they will be naturally be born in higher heaven. But extra, I give. Yeah. So hermit is on the fifth heaven, for example. But other dogs, uh, not all of them, in the fifth heaven. But for I, I raise up one level. I can one level. Yeah. When a disciple uh, who is on the first level or second level mm -hmm. passes away, what, what level can you raise that disciple? I can also lift them up maybe one or two levels according to, you know, allowance. And us, then I can teach them continue from there using my other bodies. I don't just have this body. I'm, I have many bodies everywhere, different levels. So I can continue. Hmm? Yeah. It's not like initiation infinito. No, work hard all the way. Even after you die, I continue to have to work. 
even after I die, I still continue to work for the disciples who are left behind or who already attained, you know, went to heaven. Understand my job not finished so quick. No, not so lucky. Милостивые зрители, спасибо, что присоединились к нам в сегодняшней программе под названием «Сутра Падхисатвы, Хранителя Земли». Благо для живущих и мертвецов, часть 2 из 5, но между мастером и учениками. Оставайтесь на Supreme Master Television на дальнейшие позитивные программы. Далее, серия из нескольких частей о древних предсказаниях о нашей планете. Пророчество Золотого века, часть 40. Господь Будда Шакьямуни Абудде Майтрия. Сразу после важных новостей. Пусть солнце освещает каждый уголок вашей жизни. Gracious viewers, thank you for joining us for today's program entitled Earth Store Bodhisattva Sutra, Benefiting the Living and the Dead, Part 2 of 5 on Between Master and Disciples. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. Coming up next is multi-part series on ancient predictions about our planet, Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 40, Lord Shakyamuni Buddha's prophecy about Maitreya Buddha right after North Worthy News. May the sun keep shining into all corners of your life. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.